Fox Urgent, we're waiting to learn the sentence for a man who admitted that he sent pipe bombs to President Trump's critics. And we're told this could happen at any moment. Caesar Sayok appearing before a judge in district court here in New York City. The former pizza delivery man and one time stripper pleaded guilty to mailing 16 non working pipe bombs just before the midterm elections last year. Among the targets, President Obama, Vice President Biden, Hillary Clinton, the actor Robert De Niro, CNN, and members of Congress, including Senators Kamala Harris and Cory Booker. The man's van covered in images defending President Trump and criticizing his enemies. Brian Yenis outside the courthouse. Brian, explain what happened inside. Chef, we know that for the last two hours, Caesar Sayak has been inside of his sentencing hearing. The judge, uh, District Judge uh, Jed Rakoff, brought in a bunch of experts in which he questioned them. What's at heart right now is about Caesar Sayak's intent. Did he mean for these bombs to not go off? Because remember, none of these 16 pipe bombs did go off, and no one, thank God, was injured. But the question here is whether or not he intended for that to happen. The prosecution believes that Caesar Sayok is a domestic terrorist and did intend for those bombs to go off. It's not his fault, their fault, they say, that they did not. But the defense is making the case here that this was all hoax bombs, that this was a mentally deranged person who sent out hoax bombs and not actual bombs that were intended to go off. That is at the heart of this, at this discussion right now, Chef. And while you were speaking, the judge made the decision. 20 years in prison. Brian, his political history was part, yeah. a big part of this. No doubt about it. The defense here was arguing that he should get 10 years in prison, not life in prison. This is a 57-year-old, and their entire defense was about his mental illness. They say he had untreated mental illness, somebody who was hit hard by the Great Recession, and he found himself stuck inside of his van, estranged from his family. And during that time of being isolated, he became obsessed with President Donald Trump, and he believed that prominent Democrats were out to get him. The defense was making the case here that this was not somebody who was going out there to actually have these bombs go off. Uh, it, it appears here, based on the 20 years, this could have been much worse for, for the defense, but he chose 20. It certainly does. Chef. Brian Yenis, live with us from Lower Manhattan.